Body language affects how others see us, but it is a really interesting fact how it can also change the way that we see ourselves. Social scientists have spent a lot of time looking at the effects of body language on the judgments people make. In fact, it's those judgments which can predict really important outcomes, for example, who we hire, who we promote, or even who we ask out on a date. In the following video, I'm going to give you some incredibly powerful information that will not only change the way that others see you, it will also change the way that you see yourself, and in turn, subconsciously rewire your brain for confidence. Hi, my name's Drew, and welcome to the Science of Happiness. Today we're going to have a look at how body language can also change the way that our minds think. When we think of body language, we think of how we judge others and how they might judge us. What we completely forget about is how our own body language can affect how we feel about ourselves. That's right, scientific studies indicate that our body language can directly affect how we feel about ourselves. The best example is represented in the animal kingdom. So primates might stretch themselves out and make themselves look big. So we can see this visually as they open up. Humans tend to do the same thing when they have power and when they're feeling powerful in the moment. This expression demonstrates pride, which becomes interesting because it knows no social or socioeconomic boundaries. So what body language do we express when we feel powerless? We do exactly the opposite from when we feel confident. We close ourselves up, we make ourselves small, and we see that both animals and humans tend to do the same thing. So when you're more powerful, you're more likely to display body language that is open and taking up space. What is interesting is that it is also possible that when you pretend to be powerful, you are more likely to actually feel powerful. We know that our minds change our bodies, but is it also true that our bodies can change our minds? Powerful people tend to be more assertive, more confident, and more optimistic. They are also inclined to think more abstractly, and their experiences tend to be more profound as they see life more as a challenge than as a risk. Physiologically, there are also differences in two key hormones, testosterone, which is the dominance hormone, and cortisol, which is the stress hormone. I focus on these two hormones a lot in my corporate workshops on stress management and health and well-being, and I will tell you why shortly. High power alpha males and powerful effective leaders have high levels of testosterone and low levels of cortisol. The key here is that most people, when they think about power, they tend to think only about testosterone because it's mostly how social dominance is chemically reflected in the body. But power is also really about how we react to stress, which then reflects on the importance of the measure of cortisol in the body. If cortisol is low, people are not stress reactive. The truth is that the greatest leaders are powerful, assertive and dominant, but not stress reactive. Someone who thinks through issues before reacting. Amy Cuddy, a social psychologist, carried out a study based upon the theory that we can use the body to change the way the mind thinks and determine the results through chemical analysis of the saliva. The subjects were asked to adopt several poses and hold them for a period of two minutes. Some were asked to hold physical positions of dominance, while others were asked to hold positions that reflected intimidation and low levels of confidence. A saliva sample was taken before and after each two minute exercise. Here's what was revealed about testosterone. High power people experience a 20% increase in testosterone, while the people who adopted a less dominant, less confident physical stance experienced a 10% decrease in their testosterone levels. Now for the results on cortisol. 
high-powered people experience a 25% decrease in cortisol, while the subjects who held positions of protection rather than assertion, that is, closing up their bodies, experienced a roughly 15% increase in cortisol levels. So two minutes of holding a power pose can lead to huge hormonal changes that configure your brain to basically be assertive, confident and comfortable, or really stress reactive. This indicates that the body language can determine how we think and feel about ourselves. What this means is that our bodies can literally change our minds. So how and when can you apply this amazing discovery to our everyday lives? Situations where we feel we're being evaluated, such as a job interview or meeting new friends or even meeting someone new on a date. This is not about how to communicate with other people, it's about how you communicate with yourself. So before you go into the next stressful situation where top performance is really a priority, for two minutes try doing this in the elevator, in the bathroom or maybe even at your desk. This is a great exercise to get your mind and your body functioning at its absolute best. So I want you to share this with people you know, loved ones, or even family members who you think can really benefit from this. The people who can use it the most are ones with little or no resources and no status or power. Give it to them because they can do it in private. All you need is your body, privacy, and two minutes alone, and it can significantly change many of the outcomes of your life. I'm Drew Lesser, and thanks for joining me. Remember, your happiness is really about choosing good thoughts that make you and others around you feel good. I'll look forward to seeing you next week on The Science of Happiness.